So who did uh, their braids? Dion did my braids. Um, Anthony asked her to do a leave out, so she's going to do a deep part, as you can see. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Fine, thank you. Today I'll be doing an install, this leave out. Before we start, any questions so far? Um, do you know your braiding technique? Would that be um, generic or what if they don't have any edges or how would you change that up depending on the client? Well, it all depends on the client. Usually I would do, uh, I want the flattest foundation possible. So the hair is mega thick. I might even just part the leave out and I might even just braid the cornrows coming away down from the part and connect them. I might do a connection here permanent braid and then beehive it. So there's so many different ways you can do it. But the most important way is to have a naturally laid install and a flat foundation. Not on the web, but on top of the web. What happens if you don't, sometimes when you go to, when this client go home and they go to comb their hair and, and they, or they're brushing it, it'll snatch their thread if it's not on the top. You don't want your client saying, oh, that's because they did my hair and now it's coming out. No. So what you're going to do is go under the track, pull it up, and you'll take it above the whip. Also, like I said yesterday, it's always a good idea to look cool when you're doing hair. <laughs> do I look cool? Yeah. <laughs> so what, what I mean by that really is, if you notice, I'm only using one hand. So also, you want to take note that uh, my, my thread is fairly close together. I would say no more than an uh, uh, inch and a half apart. Because some people don't want their work to be cut. They're like, girl, don't cut my hair. Right. Yeah. And some they don't mind. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I will fold it and continue um, the track. The only time I really cut it is if I'm doing a bob. People, do not do this. Hmm? <laughs> you should not have your client's hair on the floor yeah. while sewing. Mm -hmm. That is so disgusting. Unhygienic. Just good. Like, <laughs> like, can you imagine your hair being dragged around the whole time <laughs> back and forth? That's so much dirt in your hair. The hair should rest on your shoulder or around your neck, but do not have it dragging the floor and so Who do who does that? Raise <laughs> <laughs> your hand. <laughs> crickets, crickets. <laughs> That's all about learning experience, because I'm just trying to tell you, you know, you don't think about this natural to you, but ideally it's not a good look okay, on that yeah. same wet. Yeah. You see? There is red those So if you're doing this, what you get. If you're doing this, what you get. Here, here. You decide. Okay? To the sides and the back, and then just leaving the SB on, slipping on and going and wearing scarves or wearing necklaces. It causes breakage. So if you have a side piece out here, and you're not braided down at night, breakage. So we leave out as last as possible. In the wind all the time, braid it up. You don't have, you don't have to leave all the edges out. Also, um, know this guys, you cannot leave your edges out, put edge control on, and then flat iron it. It's not gonna work. That pssst, means your hair's getting burnt off. Surprise! Any more questions? goes oh, on and would diffuse the hairline by having like a more skin-like look with the yeah. cap underneath. That makes sense to you guys? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, stretch it down all the way out and put the gel or got the spray all along this hairline. Okay? And then I would trace and cut that out and it would just go from skin to immediate wig cap. <laughs> Right, right, right. And they always get like a new scalp appearance. It's kind so of like when you like, lay the lace on top of it, it just blends. It kind of blends in, right. Ah, right and if you right. need to, you can take and apply a foundation yeah. to the, where, where the, where the skin and yeah, yeah. Uh, wig cap meet so it can look more natural. Like I said, all front, to me personally, I think they're frontals and wigs from hand to hand. Frontal sewings are not the real. They don't, they, don't, they don't last this long. And you can make more money making your wig, and your client gets more bang for their buck. 
a wig last a year, two years. You take your corns you off, take your wig off, you corn your hair, and put it back on. Right. You know? Also, you can try something with a wig, put it on, styling it, then you send the wig back to get maintenance. So it's still money that's reoccurring with it, you know? Like, once I struggle of getting that so when, like, in the class, like, I understand what's on the two week method, they get pissed and come back and expect some free shit. So you gotta make sure you can tell your clients so this is a very high maintenance hairstyle. You know, in two weeks, when you come back to get this retightened or refreshed, I'm gonna charge you something. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not a free thing. You know, they want to get you know going two and three days and gonna call you, hey, my front will come up. She got a wig. You know? Yeah, take note of that. Yeah. See how that lays? Yeah, yeah. Then you'll bring it here. Okay. Every single, you know, you'll always do like a view party because you want it to kind of fall like in your face. Okay. Yeah. So, and then like if you're doing like a center part, yeah, I always bring, I'll bring, and it depends on like the client and their forehead. Like say they don't want a lot of their forehead out, then you'll bring it all the way to here. So say this is the center part, you want it to be as close as possible. Okay. And then like say if they have like really thin hair and their their leave out isn't enough to cover it, then you'll do something like an invisible part. Do you guys ever do that? Sometimes. And you lay them like super close. Okay. Like that. All the way up, yeah. so it would be like probably like, you know like this, just this area here. So I would I would okay, curve it all the way up to here, right? Yeah. What's up? What's up? Have a good time. 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 Have a that works and I'm gonna blow it out anyway, but I'll just comb it back. And this is really what we're gonna focus on. Y'all see that line like mm-hmm. going through? We just gonna blend all that out. The tweezers I use are tweezer man for anybody who's asking. I like the flat surface ones, not the ones that's pointy. I find the pointy ones point at the lace and be pulling it out and it starts to fray and like get weird. So what I'm going to do is just pull all this out so y'all can see exactly what I'm going to do in this area. So it is really just pulling sporadically, randomly, but in those areas where I'm trying to focus on, see it's like starting to fade out now. Red, this starts to look. That's why you want to start smaller and then work it up. I'm pressing into it because I know it's black hair, so I don't really care. Like, I'm just really just applying it. But, like, if it was blonde, I would literally, like, it's happening on there. But this is not going to do anything. The hair is already dark, so it's just. It's not gonna be one where I put the bug out like right here and it like burned a hole in it. Oh. <laughs> this is 91%. Um, you want to use anything stronger than like 70? What's that? So that was one tan and a half a cocoa brown. This is what it was before, and then it's just like, what about? It looks really good. Wow. Yeah, we're going to be late. So it's literally just like up and down, up and down. Did you get it? No. Straight creates too many harsh lines. Look like once I put this down. Mm, I'm just pressing in, using the end of the 
好。Because we couldn't wait, so we've had lunch and prep. Yes, I am. That was my phone. But it's not smashed. Okay. So we're going back after a little prep date. Oh, was it minus two? Tears. Ooh, so we got a couple of good stuff. You trying this out on me? Enjoyed this vlog, and see you guys in my next video. Who did that? If you're not the IP from yesterday, talk to Mandy. My baby be on the road. I love him, but he has to go. My baby be on the road. Trapping, trapping in the cold.